Good afternoon. The Santa Fe County Sheriff's Department has released its investigation into the fatal Rust movie set shooting. It is a 550 page report. It has been redacted in parts with some information left out, but it does include interviews discussing safety concerns on the set, as well as the FBI ballistic report on the gun used in the shooting. Here's News 13's Ariana Kraft with some key findings. This is what the district attorney's office will use to determine if any criminal charges will be filed. The October 2021 onset shooting in Santa Fe killed cinematographer Helena Hutchins and injured director Joel Souza. Actor Alec Baldwin shot a gun that contained a real bullet. The report does have redactions, but from what we can read, this was not the first time there were issues with the weapons on set of the film. The report includes an email from one of the camera crew members who walked off set sharing his concerns about two accidental weapon discharges and one accidental explosion, which all happened prior to the fatal shooting. Baldwin says the prop gun misfired, but the federal ballistic report included in the investigation contradicts that claim. I take the gun out and as I take it, like as it clears, as the barrel clears, the whole turn and cock the gun over here. I turn and cock the gun, the gun goes off. The report by the FBI says the weapon would work properly only when the hammer was pulled on the way back. It would not fire unless that happened. The investigation has case reports from responding law enforcement personnel. It paints a chaotic scene from that day. And in many of the witness statements, crew members told law enforcement people responsible for handling and loading the prop gun were mass prop master Sarah Zachary, armor Hannah Gutierrez and first assistant director Dave Halls. And as part of the wrongful death lawsuit settlement with Hutchins Widower, production of the movie Rust will begin in January, but it won't be filmed in New Mexico. Back to you. Okay, thanks, Ariana. Now, we did reach out to the Santa Fe District Attorney and her office. They say they are still reviewing that investigative report, and no decision has been made yet on whether to pursue charges.